Here's a walk through the entire lining toolkit. This video covers single scene lining, multi scene lining, layers, fillable forms, and export. When you tap lining, the scene headings are automatically generated, and within each scene, so are the character names. So let's line scene one. I'll do a three camera setup and toggle on the characters that are on camera. Once I tap generate, the lines are instantly generated. Even once they're created, you still have the ability to change everything about them. By tapping on a particular line segment, I can change the line type between straight, squiggle, and dirty. You can also split a line by tapping split and then selecting the split point, the type of line for the top segment, and the bottom segment, and tapping split. If you need to rejoin a split, tap rejoin. Tapping start is going to move the starting position of the slate. We also have options to end a particular cam, end all cams, as well as remove a cam. You can also change the color of any of your lines through the color picker. Let's talk about multi-scene. I'll swipe over to scene 2 for a fresh page. By tapping the three dots and selecting multi, you can line either consecutive or non-consecutive scenes. Here, I'll check the box for scenes 2 and 4, tap OK, and create another three-camera setup. When complete, I'll tap Generate. You can see that this multi-scene slate starts in scene 2, continues into scene 4, and skips scene 3. And with any slate, you're also able to tap on the slate and rename it if you'd like. Let me show you here in the Layers menu that all of your lining lives in a dedicated lining layer. So that's designed to keep all of your slates, and the notes that go along with those slates, in the same layer. However, you might have layers of notes that predate the shoot day, and by toggling on those layers, you can view them in the background of your lining. Now, if you add enough slates that you fill the page, a new layer called Lining 2 will be created right below that. Let me quickly demo with Scene 7. I already marked up this scene with a whole page of slates. And I'll go to Scene 7, add one more slate, and we're going to be automatically prompted that we're moving into a new lining layer. And in the Layers menu, you can see that we've moved into Lining Layer 2. If we toggle back to layer 1, we have all of our prior slates. Let me show you reports. From the file browser, we have a new feature called Library, which stores pre-made fillable forms. You can access these forms from here, as well as the page maker. By tapping Edit, then Add, and Select Source Document from the library, you can select a fillable form to insert into your script or use as facing pages. Of course, you can do this with your own custom documents as well. And what's new in this version of Scriptation, for documents that are pre-built as fillable forms, you can type directly into the form fields. You can even use Scribble on your iPad and have your handwriting be automatically converted to text. When you're working with a form like this, you may also want to change your settings to be two-page mode, so you can see your script page on one side and your facing page on the other. So it's the end of the shoot day, and it's time to do your export. By tapping Lining, tapping the three dots, and selecting Lining Export, you can select scenes that were shot that day and tap OK. It will automatically recognize the pages based on those scenes you've selected, and if you need to select any additional pages, perhaps you have a progress report as the first page, you can tap Add to add that page. Next, tap Export, tap Save, and Select, and all pages that were automatically selected, plus whatever adjustments you made, are created into a new file. Now, in the new report, I'll toggle us back to single page mode for easy viewing. And here you can see that scene 7, that was the one with lining on two layers. Those pages have layer 1 on one page and layer 2 on another, so that all of the slates have been included in the export. 
And now from the main screen, just tap Share, then Share to send to the editor. For more step-by-step -step guides, head over to support.scriptation.com.